Welcome to part three of the Amazon FBA Wholesale for Beginners training, where in this video, we're going to talk about phone calls with wholesalers that you may experience. And then when we've got accounts opening, you've got the stock lists, how you could potentially manage those stock lists and actually go through and actually start to source for potential profitable products. My name's Kev, welcome to the Life Success Engineer YouTube channel. This is a part of a multi-part training where part one and two, we went through a real big introduction on getting your business set up right for wholesale. And then we discussed in part two, you actually shortlisting different wholesale suppliers. So if this is the first time you're watching this, then please consider hitting that subscribe button. I help people take massive action in their online businesses and uh, let's begin. So the first part of this is going to be potential phone calls that you may experience. So I've just got a, an example script here. This is just a real brief example, one example of a potential conversation that you may have. A couple of side notes to put here. The objective is whenever you're speaking to anybody is obviously to, to build a great relationship with that person and then open the account or get instructions on what you may need to do to actually open the account to see the stock list. Because once you've, you've gone through your wholesale supplier, uh, the actual um, shortlisted, then you, you may not actually know any stock, you may not know any prices at this point, you, you know nothing, you're just wanting to open an account with them. So um, the objective is how quickly can we get to the person that we need to speak to, what's the process involved in opening accounts, what's some of the things that we may need to know. A couple of other things to, to mention here is you may never have spoken to anybody on the phone before in this type of way. So don't be alarmed um, if you feel in any way sort of nervous or if you're not 100% sure what to say or you maybe don't feel confident speaking to somebody on the phone. Then again, don't worry about that. It's completely normal, especially if you've come from an, an online arbitrage model, for example, if you've never actually spoken to anybody on the phone, then you know those, those nervous feelings, you're speaking to actual people on the phone, it, it might be, it's, it's completely normal and you may have some great experiences, you may say something that's wrong, or you may uh, stutter in some way, or don't worry about it. You're gonna speak to many, many people, and the more people you speak to, the more confident you'll get, the more you'll have your, your story, you'll, you'll learn so much from every conversation that you have, okay? So, a couple of sort of disclaimers there, um, but this is just an example of, of something you may experience, okay? So, for example, You've gone through the your shortlist, you've now actually picked up the phone and you're making some phone calls. So uh, you are going to, that person says, hello, hopefully they pick up the phone and then, and then you will say something like, hello, good morning, would it be possible to speak to your open accounts manager please? Or if you know that person already, let's say you have been speaking, you've maybe traded some emails or you've been on social media and you, you actually know the person that you, you want to speak to, you can say, Hello, good morning or good afternoon. Would it be possible to speak to the name, please? We met and we were introduced at maybe the trade show in whatever town or you've been speaking online or we've uh, we've exchanged some emails. You would basically just explain uh, who this person is. And then the wholesale is, is going to respond in a, in a couple of different ways. Um, you're either speaking to that right person straight away or you may have to get transferred. So if you're getting transferred, they may say something like, yes, of course, may I ask you speaking, please? And you would then say something like, um, my name is Kev and I am our supplies and purchasing manager from Pets Direct. Whatever your name is here, okay? So that's whatever your name is. If you are speaking to the right person and you've said, would it be possible to speak to the accounts manager or the, the name? And then that person may just say, yes, I'm speaking. And then you can say, Hi, good morning. Um, is it possible to speak to you regarding opening an account with you? Our company is currently looking at building successful working relationships with suppliers like yourselves. And after looking into your company, we would love to learn more about taking next steps with you. And then the wholesaler may say something like, um, okay, great. Would it be possible to learn more about your company as we, we don't just open accounts with anybody? There's, there's a number of things that they may say here, um, but it, it's, it's, 
it, it's just a normal conversation to have. They they may just say, okay, great, let's get you accounts opening form straight away. Or they may say that they're not actually opening accounts right now. There's, there's many different things that they may potentially say at this point. But if they do ask you some, uh, some questions about your company, then you may want to say something along the lines of, just put these in speech marks, um, of course, I am the Supplies and Purchasing Manager at PetsDirect.co.uk. This is, just as my ring goes off in the background, let me put that on silent, excuse me. Um, you may say something like, um, yes, of course, I am the Supplies and Purchasing Manager at PetsDirect.co.uk. We are currently operating from our warehouse located in our town, our city. We were founded in whatever year it may be. We ship products to our customers around the UK specializing in pets products and we have many pet lovers in our community. We are really interested in your catalog of products as we could see some items of interest. Okay, so here, what you what you're doing really is, and whether you're in the UK, the US, or anywhere else in the world, what what you're doing is you, you're just giving yourself a great introduction, an introduction on um, who you are. So this this is referring to your website. You can immediately they they can they can in their minds they're they're talking to somebody like a you know suppliers and purchasing manager that you've you started to paint your story your your picture of who you are and then the wholesaler may say oh fantastic would you be able to share um with with me where you currently sell your products and then you can say uh, yes of course our primary vehicle sell selling is directly for our website as we are a hundred percent online but we do use social media to market our products and this is where um, this is, it's not about, you never want to um, deceive anybody, you never want to lie to anyone that you're speaking to. You should, as we've discussed, the bigger goal here is to have an e-commerce business where you are only seeing sort of Amazon as a, uh, just one leg of your, your company, okay? Long term, wouldn't it be great if you've actually got your, your website that you've built now and the the goals that you have and you've set up your website and you've, you've done all the work that we've already discussed then the goal is to, to to actually get people purchasing from your website and amazon is just a leg of that so your primary focus should always be sort of your website but we are leveraging the likes of amazon as well so if your wholesaler then says do you currently sell anywhere like amazon then again you're telling the truth we have used uh, and we do use third party marketplaces to sell our products such as eBay or Facebook or Amazon, but we strictly comply with the suppliers terms and conditions, but our primary focus is our store and our website. And at that point there, the wholesaler may share with you what their policies are, what their terms of sales are. They may say that Amazon's not allowed. They may not say anything at all. They may simply just say, okay, we can open the account. There's, there's many different scenarios of this and there's many different um, experiences that you will have. But really the, the goal is you want to say that you, you've, you've got a business, you're online on your website, you are an e-commerce business, you are focused on your website, you do use third party marketplace um, uh, uh, marketplaces and you do comply with terms and conditions and all these things that are so, so important it all then depends on what it is that they actually say to you. But if they said, okay, regarding open accounts, we've got an application form for all our customers to fill out where it will give you more, uh, it will ask for more information about your company details. And that would be the best case scenario if they were simply to say, you know, okay, we'll send you the form over. The, the forms are all different. It's going to have all the standard information that you're going to need, your your uh, business details, contact details. It's going to need your um, company registration details. There's, there's going to be a lot of checks that they may do. They may ask for references. There, there's a number of different things that they may look out for in terms of 
um, the process of opening accounts. So if they need references, then you're going to look at references. If the, you're going to need all your uh, business set up correctly, your address, obviously, all that set up correctly, and then uh, you'll be able to just give them all that information. And then you can then simply say, okay, fantastic. Is it possible to, to, to get that sent to me at kev at um, petsdirect.co.uk? And I'll get this filled out and, and be back to you straight away. Um, and, and that would be a fantastic sort of phone call to have if they're going to now send you an account opening form. You've got in the door, and that's what our objective is. Our objective is to try getting that account so we get the actual stock list. So you can actually start to build that relationship process. Um, and I've put here, you know, there are many ways that phone calls can go. Some will be successful, some will not. And you, but you'll need to persevere and you'll need to keep building that relationships through email, social media, whatever it is that you need to do. But there is a lot more different scenarios here that you're going to experience. And I, I wasn't going to write out every single type of phone call that you may have, but I just wanted to give you a quick example of what you may experience. If you were interested in seeing a lot more different scripts and how to respond to different questions and things, you can do. We have some um, some additional wholesale training, uh, completely free, just further training at lifesuccessengineer.com forward slash wholesale. And um, if you wanted more premium training, this is like all the script downloads, all the step by steps. We've got a great, great um, friend of ours called Larry from Watch Me Amazon who has the Wholesale Academy. So if you wanted to join that, you can do. Um, but if you wanted just to check out the, um, uh, the, the further training, inside the further training, I actually do share within the Wholesale Academy to give you a bit more broader context of what's going on. So at this point here, once you get the actual uh, registration form, then get that filled out and send it back to them. Once they actually send you the stock list, then we can actually start to go through the stock list. So what we'll do, we'll go over to part two now of the training of this third part, which is going to be about, okay, you've got the stock list. What is it that we're doing then? Okay, so once you've actually opened the account with your wholesale supplier, then you will be able to get access to their stock list. And their stock list may come through email, through an Excel sheet. There, there's many different ways that wholesalers will actually share their stock list with you. But in this example, I just wanted just to share with you uh, a couple of ways that you may want to actually manage this and actually start going through the uh, the sourcing process. Okay, so just for example, you've got your uh, stock list that's been come through email. You're then going to want to, um, I always recommend using something like Google Sheets because you can share this with your team. So if, for example, you have a sourcing team, if you've got some virtual assistants working for you, or it, it might just be you that has to go through each of the different products. So there's a couple of things that um, to, you need to be aware of. So this is just a, a quick example on screen. So when you get the stock list from wholesalers, they're going to have a, a description. It's going to have a, a barcode number. There's going to be their, obviously their price, their case sizes. It's going to be, uh, some wholesalers got um, different order quantity uh, sort of limits. So for example, so, somebody may have a, an order, a minimum order quantity of uh, 200 pounds or somebody may have 3,000 pounds or $3,000. It really, it really depends on who it is that you're actually speaking to. But what I would recommend that you do is just, this is now the process of just going through lists going through actually looking at the products. And um, if you do have team members, I'd recommend that your team member just starts to go through this and they start to just literally source like you would usually, whether that is searching on Amazon through um, uh, barcodes or the actual descriptions. You're trying to find the actual product that you're wanting to sell. Couple of notes here that you're gonna to want to look at, whether there's uh, different bundle opportunities. There's a, there's a number of ways that you can source and I've got lots of um, videos that I've discussed in, in previous videos of uh, how and what tools that you may want to use, okay? So 
Um, I've got a couple of videos that I'm going to put on underneath. So, for example, I covered lots of great Keeper tutorials um, for those that maybe don't fully understand Keeper. Um, I have, there's many different tools you can use. There's there's a tool called Biobot Pro or FBA Multi Tool that you can actually use. Um, I've also shared different uh, different styles of uh, lists and, and, and master sheets that you can use. This, for example, was a, um, a sourcing uh, management and performance analysis where you could actually put in um, all the details and it will start to analyze products as per uh, sales, as per stock levels, as per number of sellers on listings, the weight, the size. There's many different things that um, the, this would actually show you. So I'm going to put these three, three videos down below. But when it comes to the actual list itself, there's a couple of uh, quick tips that I'd uh, love to share with you here. Is you're going to get the price. You're going to get the price per case uh, that the wholesaler will actually tell you that they're, they're, they're selling products for. Um, these will be VAT exclusive, so just be aware of uh, your VAT registration. And also, there's a couple of columns that I, I always recommend that you, you would add. So, um, a big part of when you start getting into wholesale is that relationship build. The potential to actually build a great working relationship with your account manager. And one day, you may be able to actually request different um, discounts. Okay, This is a, a, real, um, a real human aspect of wholesale. So, if, for example, you were sourcing through here... And it is, it's going to take time. There's going to be a lot of products to source through, right? So there's hundreds upon hundreds of different products. It is trying to find that needle in a haystack. But keep persevering. The more detail that you are, the more your team go through it, the more you, you're going to be likely to find an actual item. But when it comes to, from a discount point of view, you can start to do things like this. For example, put in extra columns like what what would the orders be if you were able to um, get a 5% discount or a 10% or a 15%? Now, I'm not saying that you would get these discounts and it's all dependent on your relationship and how you go about actually building this relationship, but it's just interesting to know what um, products that you could potentially order when you have got different discounts included, okay? So this is going to be great um, for you to start developing your negotiation skills in terms of when you first place your first order, what you don't want to do is you don't want to give a bad impression and just start asking for discounts straight away. You, you, may want to, um, you, you may want to just place a regular order, say, thank you so much, really looking forward to working with you, and do that a couple of times. And then what you can start to filter in is, well, what, if, what would the order total be if it was no discount? What, it, what would the order total be if it was 5% discount, 10% discount, and 15% discount? And what you can start to do is get a bit of an idea of what products would be potentially winners for you and what you may want to purchase if you were able to get those types of uh, deals negotiated. So if, for example, your order total as normal was um, £1,000, but if you was able to get 5% discount, it would be £1,300. If it was 10% discount, it might be £1,700. And if it was 15% discount, it might be £2,500. So you're now getting different order totals. And as time goes on, and as you start to actually build this relationship with your supplier, you could depending on how comfortable you are and depending on there's different negotiation uh, styles and different tactics you can use and, and, and as you build that relationship with them, whether you meet them at your warehouse, whether you, you, know, you invite them into your warehouse, you get to know them more on a bit of a personal level, you start to see what their company can and can't do. They may not even be in a position where they can actually offer you anything, but this is just interesting information and you can start to do different split tests in terms of um, this is the order at 5% discount. This is the order at 10% discount. They are going to want to do business with you. They're going to want to do um, regular business with you. But it's really important to, um, to also understand from their point of view if they can't, if they can't do that. Um, but there's no harm in trying and, and really working this out. So there's a, there's a couple of things that you would do. You would start to actually go through each of these. It's going to take time. Like I say, there's, I mean, this stock list itself 
is got like six, seven hundred, eight hundred, you know, it's nearly got eight hundred, eight hundred different products, right? There's a lot, there's a lot of different products here to go through. And you want to take your time. You want to um, highly recommend that you check out uh, this video here to start going through how to analyze different products, how to analyze different products with different tools, and how you can design your spreadsheet with different analysis tools if you wanted to. But this is really um, on, on the stage that you're going to get to before you can actually start to place those orders. Um, there's different flows that you can create. So one of the um, examples is you may want to create different boards and Asana. So each different wholesaler goes through different boards and a different flow. So every single order is actually goes through an actual system from you know accounts being open to sourcing through the stock list to reviewing to um, verifying the order to actually placing the the or requesting the order. You may have a scenario where the, the wholesaler doesn't have this particular uh, product anymore. So you've got to uh, make sure that your purchasing is accurate and making sure that your minimums are right and, and all your calculations, your fees and everything have been um, uh, taken into account. But this is just an example and there's a few things here that I want to just go through and hopefully it supported you on the next journey of our wholesale training. So if you've got any questions whatsoever, don't hesitate, comment down below, let me know. Please hit the thumbs up button if you did enjoy this. If you want any more training, just go to lifesuccessengineer.com forward slash wholesale. If you're interested in potentially getting some support here when, when it comes from a prep service point of view, just go to fbprepserviceuk.com or fbprepserviceusa.com where you'll be able to get more information about us on how we can actually support you, not just from wholesale lists, but also from um, actually prepping the items too. So hopefully you enjoyed this one. Looking forward to seeing you in part four where we'll be back in the warehouse and um, uh, keep taking massive action as always, and I look forward to speaking to you next time. Bye-bye.